my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. We're talking about the blue scale, how we can expand it, how we can add new stuff to it so it sounds completely different. This time, uh, and this is the third video, and you need to go back and watch the two others in order to really understand what we're doing here. This time, we're going to do something completely uh, out of this world because we're just adding random notes, following a little system, of course, um, because the blues is really a place, when you compare the blue scale and the blues realm, to the diatonic realm. You've got the classical music, you've got pop music, you know, you got those triad chords. We got this sound basically. Which would you call melodic rock if you were playing rock songs in this way? And then we got the blue scale realm. Right? That's a totally different sound. It's like ACDC up against uh, some pop band. <laughs> you know, riff based. And in that blues realm, when we have that blues, we can we can really take ourselves or, or we really have some freedoms in there because it's a it's a realm where you have the most amazing dissonant sounds and we accept them because it's blues. So, for instance, if you have your if you have your first blues chord here in the case of C major or, or C blues, um, then. If, if I play the blues scale, this is the minor third, and the chord has a major third, so it's one semitone apart, which is the the most awful interval in the world. But because it's blues, we accept it. Or what about the blue note? It's the most dissonant thing. But when we play it in that context. Right? It sounds really cool. So, and we can use that because we can add other notes than these regular dissonant note, notes that we already have. And that's what we're going to do in this session. But if you haven't watched the previous videos, please do that first and then come back here. The third way in which we can break up the blues scale and make it even more bluesy um, is an idea I got once because you know you have the minor pentatonic right this is C again and please go back and watch the two previous videos if you haven't done so now just do the minor pentatonic first position here in the eighth thread right um, and then we we make that into the blue scale turn that into the blue scale by just adding that note right there. But that's just tying a whole tone interval together with a chromatic note, right? But can't you do that here? Right? Why wouldn't you? I guess most people got this idea. You can do that there. You can do it here. Whenever you have a whole tone interval, then you can do that. But that's a chromatic uh, tie, you could say, because we, if we use that in the playing situation, it's accepted by the ear because we know we are going from one place. So this note is accepted because all this. But if you play only that, you get some really, <laughs> some interesting... But again, this is the blues, or blues rock, or whatever you want to call it. So we can actually use that. And there's a nice little trick that you can use and it's sweet picking. Sorry, I hurt my finger there. 
uh, where you take, what, which we're going to work with in this little video, you simply play three notes in an augmented. You got the uh, the tenth fret, just as an example here. We're going to move it around. Or. All right, really nice little trick. So let's just play down here from the A string. You play the tenth on the A, play the ninth on the D, and then the eighth on the um, uh, on the G string. And you sweep just downwards. Then you turn it around and just mirror that little shit and play the tenth on the G string, the ninth on the D, and then the eighth on the A string. So you get that perfect sweep. A really cool little sweep picking exercise as well. You might want to spend a great deal of time getting the timing right for this using a metronome. All right? And you can do that here. You get that, you get this note in, in the middle, which is just a chromatic note in between this whole tone interval. And you can end it by going, sliding down to the sixth fret, bending that and ending on the root note. You can do it on the, uh, on from the D string as well, same frets, 10, 9, 8, D, G, and B. And then you hit the sixth there, uh, in the 10th fret, 9th fret G string, and 8th fret uh, D string. And then you can be creative and go, right? Back in the blues here. Right? And if you're up here, you have some really wacky now because here you got the the pentatonic notes here, right? And then you can add the Dorian notes uh, in the tenth fret. But then if I do this, I hit a note that's that's not in the scale at all. And if I use that, I'm pretty much totally out of it. Uh, <laughs> so those notes are really out. But you can use another little formation of notes. You can go... I should say that you can, of course, start with this and go down. So you can both go... But you can also go... Right? And up here, you can go from the G string, uh, 8, 10, and 11. And then the other way around, you can go 8, 10, 11 as well. Or you can go down here. Then you get pentatonic note, blue scale note, right? And then the sixth. So play around with it, and by all means, use this as a chromatic note. But another idea you can also use is to go... Right? And that's using this note here. This is the raised uh, third, the, the major third, which sounds really... This is actually in the chord in the background. But then you can do the same thing down here. So uh, just, just to get this straight, eight, ten, uh, oh sorry, eighth fret, ninth fret on the G string, and then the tenth on the D. the same thing from the D string. Nine, no, eight, ten, no, eight, nine, and then ten on the on the A string. So you get like a
lots of options. Uh, the main thing is to step out of the blues scale, um, play these shapes to just break out of it. And if you do all three things, as in the two previous videos, and this one, you can really add some, some madness to that, uh, to that old blues scale. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.